Hello everyone, it's CompSideGirl523 here, and, well, um, we're on Solve It Case 2 now. So, uh, thanks to everyone who played the first map, I appreciated all the feedback and advice. And if you haven't played the first map, you can still play the second map, it's not required that you play the first map, though I do recommend you do play the first map. And again, special thanks to my brother for being my playtester. So, here we go. There's just some stuff in there that you need to read that has all the rules and such. So it's your first day at the detective agency and you're already running late, so you can look around the apartment. They have some in here if you want to grab some food. I'm just going to grab some baked potatoes. You can look around the apartment if you like. Strata says they've been expecting you and basically it's telling you that you should go straight to your room. So we'll head this way. The stairs are this way. It's very easy to get lost, it seems. This castle is I, the castle is pretty big. Okay, go into the guest room. And we have a note for us. Oops, there we go. So basically, uh, Miss Strata is telling you that she couldn't talk to you out in the open because people have been listening in, they're being nosy, and that they're in the chest next to the bed, there are some items that you will need. So, if we go over here, you see there's a study key, that's a room that you're allowed to use to do whatever you want with that room, and a castle guide. This can come in handy if you're trying to figure out where things are located in the castle. It basically just breaks down who's in the castle, where everything's kind of located in general. Yeah. So, 
Get this night, we'll sleep. And head to Miss Shiva's <sighs> office in the morning. Okay. Miss Strada's office, and Miss Strada's there, as you can see. So walk up to the desk, and she's gonna tell you how people are being nosy, ah. and she's gonna explain that while she was in the main exhibit hall, you saw there was a suit of diamond armor. Well, while she was shining the helmet, she noticed that it was a fake. Ah. And she waited out and realized that it was a fake. Ah. She gave you an ID to get into the employee area, such as the Control and Security Center. Ah. Also, she says, since you are posing as an intern, ah. you need to do some work. So your first task is going to be setting up the dining hall downstairs. Ah. So we'll head on out. Luckily, the stairs are right here. I'm just going to move some stuff into my inventory. So here's the dining hall. <laughs> Found a torn bill of sale, and it looks like they paid $5,000 for plates. <laughs> so this is played in adventure mode, so I did provide things just in case something is misplaced. <laughs> to be able to remove things. So there's a mystery voice talking to you, and it's actually Jamie. So Jamie is talking to you. And Jamie's not too happy about that. And now Jamie wants you to go to her, their office so that they can talk to you in person, because the intercom up there doesn't seem to be working. Jamie's office is a bit of a jog. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. And here's Jamie's office. And here's Jamie. So let's walk up to the desk. So basically she's telling you, go next door and talk to Harold the electrician to see if you can get this intercom sorted out. So here's the exchange center. This is why you needed the employee ID. So hello, Harold. Basically you're going to tell him Jamie sent you. He's going to be very upset because Jamie's been bothering him for a while and he's very busy trying to set up security cameras. And you offer your services to fix the intercom system. So you hear a door open, the door opens back there. You can look around, there's a little funny little thing here, this Harold's cookie, if you wanna. That's this there, just pointing that out. Alright, okay, so we have a bit of a redstone puzzle. I'm just gonna throw that back in there. You don't need that anymore. Concept, basically you want this piston to fire and stay there so that the redstone block powers the lamp. Let her know the intercom's fixed. She's very happy, and she asks you if Gretchen has told you what the little problem was, which is the helm being a fake. And basically, she gives you the history behind Strata Castle, and then Miss Strata pages you over the now working intercom to meet her down in the exhibit hall. So before you read this book, you're gonna head downstairs to Miss Strata. Uh, there's no fast way to get to the stairs. Either way, it's the same distance. Oh. <laughs> and 
and there's Miss Strata. So she's asking if you got the book from Jamie. You said yes, and that you should, if you should read it, you should read it. Uh -huh. so don't click this till you have read it. Now, this is a very long book, but I did make a summary of the book, so you don't have to read all 15 pages. Just read the last three pages. Both really fast. So basically, it talks about Haven and Rydell and how they became the owners of the castle. It's the backstory. And the main important thing you need to get out of this is that the castle has been passed down from the eldest daughter for each generation. And it's a symbol of hard work, dedication, leading to great things. So now you can continue. Uh -huh. I asked you what you think. And she says this is a very brief history. If you actually knew the entire history, it might take you weeks to read it. And there's uh -huh. artifacts. And she says for your next task, you need to go to the storage room on the second floor where there are some chests that need to be sorted out uh -huh. into copper bins. And while you're up there, it suggests that you visit the armory. So I'm just going to go this here, this here, this here. I'm going to need it. So right here is the storage room, but first I'm going to head to the armory. Now you don't have to go to the armory, it's a special thing that if you want to go, you can go there. But as the name suggests, there are some things you may want to grab while you're there. Oops. There we go. Never know when you can use some armor. Also, if you look upstairs, if I can remember what chest I put it in, there's a few... Oops. Don't want to lose that. There's a few hidden items that you may want to grab. Just first in. You don't need these to go to the map. It might be helpful to have some. I'm just going to grab them for now. You never know when you can... You might need some armor. Alright, now back to the storage room. Here are all the crates. Let's grab everything out of the crates. Careless and one last crate. You can break down the entire crate just for sake of speed, just whatever you like that. Alright, so we have the main hall, wizard room, library, and war room. So main hall, you need the music box, and nope, I forgot, displays, that's what you need. And then wizard room, wizard wand, mysterious crystal, library, you need bookshelves, books, reading chairs, and the war room is capture banner, arrow, and armor stand. And they should slowly disappear. Ever so slowly. And once they all disappear, they will they'll tell you that, okay, you found everything, you better go do some snooping, because nobody's paying any attention. But this chest wasn't here before. There's a book and a key. You have to think, where could this key possibly go? Well, let's read the note. I will always be right next to you as we sit on the throne. So, that was written by Havenstrata, which we read in the history book who that was. So, let's head down to the throne room. Now, if we notice anything out of place, secret door, and a garden. 
mysterious voice from nowhere. He's basically wanting to know who you are and what are you doing here. And they are by the water fountain in the back corner, so let's head over that way. Also, while you're here, you can do a little exploring. There's some items if you want to. Just going to grab that. Particles. We have now met Queen Rydell. And it's very dark in here, so let's shed a little light on the subject, shall we? So basically she's telling you about the secret garden. She, you're trying to tell her that you're an architecture student, but she says no, she heard through the walls, she knows exactly who you are, she knows what's going on, and she wants you to figure out who stole the helm and exactly why did they steal the helm. You have a nice little conversation with her about this. She tells you that she also heard through the walls that her sword has also been forged and that you're about to find this out as soon as you walk out of the room. So you feel free to explore in here if you'd like. And Miss Strada is now calling you to her office to show you something. Oops. Mind the barrier blocks there. Those are there just so the villagers stay put. Uh, should be back in her office, and she is. And, like Rydell uh, said, she heard that the diamond sword is, sword is indeed a forgery. Uh, she says he doesn't look surprised. That's interesting. Harold is hooking up security cameras. And she suggests uh, that you go get some food, because it's kind of late, and you haven't eaten yet. And you're like, yeah, that sounds good. But, of course, she wants uh, to know if you can make food for everybody. And you said, sure, why not? And she gives you everybody's food orders. So let's throw that in there. And let's head down to the kitchen. Which, there's two ways to get in the kitchen. Uh, I'll just go this way. Where's that going to be two ways? Let's see what they need. They want a pork chop, a baked potato, steak and baked potato, mushroom stew and bread, and chicken and bread. So... I'm just gonna pop up here because it's faster. You're gonna need to find coal, and when you do find coal, you'll find this. It's a scorched bill. I'm not gonna read that, I'm just gonna show you what it says. And let's get on to making the food. So I already have baked potatoes, so I don't have to actually make those. Uh, I actually don't know where I put everything. Okay. Pork chop. Oops. Steak, and chicken, and go over here. There's, there's the mushrooms. Check, I grabbed everything. Pork chop, steak, and chicken. Yep. Alrighty, so let's head back to this one. You can do this in any order. But there is a problem. You can't exactly get to the gateman because the door is closed. So you'll have to talk to somebody about getting the door open. So my Stratus right here. 
here. Let's go to the strata first. Go radio the gateman for you, but she suggests that you go and give Harold and Jamie their food first. I bypassed it, didn't I? Yes, I did. I don't know why I did that. Alright, here's Jamie. And Jamie's gonna tell you that Miss Strata got the castle because it was passed down to her from generation to generation. And that you say it must take a lot of bills. And you're like, yes, there's a lot of bills, but. That's how it is. Alright, so now Harold is next door. So, Harold, give Harold the dinner. He asked how the security camera is coming along. He said it would be, be nice if he had some help, but now the construction team is actually helping him, which you find kind of odd, but. So, the door should be open now, and you've been blushing on that. The door should be open now. So please pardon my voice if it sounds kind of funny. My allergies are acting up. Alright, gate's open. Give the gateman the food. He's been there all day, once again. And his replacement has yet to show up. So you're gonna head back inside. And Miss Strata says something. So you're overhearing a conversation on the intercom and they're arguing over a check that is being written. And how they're not going to be in their offices at the moment. And then Harold lets them know that they left the intercom on again. So this would be a good time to go check out their offices when they're not around. So let's explore her office a little bit. There are three things to find in the office, in both offices. So if you walk in front of her, you see she has a coat in here. If you walk in front of her computer, it's locked. So we need to find a clue to unlock the computer. So let's look around. It says, interesting. Hmm. I wonder. The password is TNT. Stand in front of a TNT. So it looks like they are in debt because she's been looking for loans, and it seems like we better get out of here before we get caught. So let's just put this back and get out of here before we get caught. Now to Jamie's office. Here, coast is clear. A locked cabinet. Paintings. Let's see what she has on her computer. Just solitary. And more paintings. And we better get out here before Jamie comes back. But Jamie is calling us down to the library, so we better head down to the library.
right there. She's looking for a specific book called The Tale of Sir Mobbin, and she needs some help finding it. You say, sure, and she says, she'll be right back to help you. But why do you get the feeling that that's not going to happen? So you're given some ladders and an axe if you want to put some ladders down to try to reach some of the chests. Feel free to look in the chests because you need to find, try to find the book. If you look in some of these chests, this one's known as a book, but that's not what we're looking for. So I'm just going to go directly to the chest that has it. So I pop up here. Oops. Show you on the edge. And we got the tail of Sir Mobbin. A button. There is a button. We open the chest. These are not very old books. This is planning, tools, gold, the forge, how to get emeralds quick, modern metal working. Interesting. And something happened. You have something in your inventory. A note from Rido. Well, better head back to the garden. Which just happens to be right around the corner. Hello, Rido. So she's asking how things are going. You pretty much have only been learning of this pretty much money trouble. And she's telling you how her husband made the garden for her. You thought it's interesting. And she says the thief has been stealing items of great value. So she's suggesting that you set a trap for the thief. What can we use as bait? Well, there's a special gem called the Strata Gem, and it's hidden in the old guard tower, which is currently under construction. So, we need to somehow get into the construction zone. So let's go talk to Miss Strata and see if we can gain access to the construction zone. So I'm going to empty out a few things out of my inventory. Uh, what do I need? Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. And I don't need that. So if we go back to Miss Strata, I'm just going to put in there. Strata, you back in your office? Yes, you are. She sounds a bit distressed. She just says she's tired. You say, can you get into the treasure site? She says blatantly, no. So you think, maybe if I talk to Jamie, maybe Jamie can get me into the office. Oh, into the construction zone. So we go to her office. Jamie's in her office. Hello, Jamie. You ask her if she has a key, and she says yes, but she lost it in one of the royal bedrooms. So it looks like if we find the key, if we get to use it. So she gives you the key of the royal uh -huh. bedrooms, and we're going to go exploring. However, she says two of the royal bedrooms are locked and haven't been able to be unlocked. So we'll have to see which one's open. So this one, this one opens. And if we look over here, there's the key. But how are we going to get in? Well, that one says armoire, so if we head over to the armoire. The light turned on. So let's go here. So now if we look at the names on the other bedrooms. We have Penelope, Susanna, and Prince Donald. Now his room doesn't open. Her room doesn't open. But Penelope's does. So let's see if we can find another button. I'm gonna... Nope. Nope. And while I'm here, face through the wall. Alright, now we're in Susanna's room. So basically you're just trying to find all the buttons. You can face through the wall to get into the prince's room. There's one more button in here. And that should have unlocked the key. Feel free to explore the rooms as well if you'd like. So, all the way out. And that should have opened up the case. And it has. You might have to jump up there to get it. And we'll go this way. Head back downstairs. To the construction zone.
door is open, but it's blocked. So we need some tools to get through this wall, and we need a distraction so we don't scare the people on the other side of the wall. So who do we know has tools? Who offered us tools before? Well, Harold did, so we'll go see Harold. free to explore the other rooms in the castle. There are other rooms in the castle that you don't necessarily need. Ah. So here's Harold. You ask him, can I ah. have something to break wood planks? And he says, sure. Now, if a certain queen can lend a hand. Ah. I've discovered the fastest way to get to Harold and Mistress and um, Jamie is when you come out of the staircase go to your left first need a distraction. So she's able to make water flow. And it turns out there's some leaky pipes in the ballroom. So if we were to go to the ballroom, maybe, just maybe, we can convince everybody to leave where they're at. Okay, so let's head to the gate. Let's head to the ballroom. We're going to cut through the war room. And the wizard room. Ah. And we're in the ballroom. So we head towards the center of the ballroom. Watch out for the falling water. So we call everybody, saying we'll go to the ballroom. We said yes, everybody go to the ballroom. And now is your chance to get into the construction zone. So we're going to here. We're going to have to go wade through all that water. We got the crate breaker ready. In this case, it's just going to break the planks. Now, I don't know about you, but this doesn't look like any construction zone I've ever seen. Alright. Now for some parkour. I'm going to warn you, I'm not very good at parkour. This was very difficult to make. For testing purposes, yep, yep, that's, it's supposed to be easy parkour, but I'm very bad at parkour. Okay, we're just, nope, nope, I have to try to do it. I'm going to spare you the hassle of seeing me fail about a billion times. Back to adventure mode. It is possible. It is possible. It's just I'm really bad at parkour. I had my brother test it. He was able to do it. So we have the stratagem. And we better bring this back to Queen Rido. So I guess I can do this in reverse. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Oh my gosh. Ah! Yep, well, <laughs> I guess that was the fastest way down, technically. Basically, for that puzzle, just follow the torches and you'll work your way up and you'll get to the top. And let's talk to Queen Rhino and see what's going on. We got the gem. And she is shocked because it's a fake. It's 
somebody has already switched out the gem. So, the only two people that had access to there was Miss Strata and Jamie. And you're starting to think there was no construction team at all. And she says, looks like you're going to have to go talk to Miss Strata and Jamie about this. And she gives you a sponge, so it looks like you actually found supplies and weren't snooping. So let's head back to the ballroom. Strata's office first. So we're gonna go see what's going on. Because it seems Jamie and Miss Strata have gone MIA. Miss Strata, are you in here? She's not here. But that chest wasn't there before. <laughs> Storage closet key. There is one storage closet in Jamie's office. Command center. And Jamie's office. Jamie's here, but the storage closet isn't open. There's an indentation in the Let's pray it. Let's press the button and see what happens. Well, there we go. ways to do this is to basically split the keys in half. So there's 20 keys, one, two, three, four, ten there, ten here. And what it does is if you press this, this one's lighter. So we'll hit reset. So since that one was lighter, the keys in here are wrong. So we'll just put it back in there. Take half of these keys. This one's lighter. Hit reset. All these keys are wrong. Now that we have five, any three out. Put them in there. And hit start. They're the same. That means the key that you have left is the key. So we'll just throw it in. And the door opens. Some sort of workshop. Let's look around. Interesting. The door slammed and there's something behind you. Who is it? Miss Strata. Uh, before I continue, I'm going to... Yeah. I'm going to do that. So... She's been creating the forgeries. She says the castle is... You're saying the castle's in deep debt, and she was stealing 
She never wanted this castle. You tell her she could just told Jamie. She says no, she couldn't have. The only way out of here is up that ladder that you came down because the stairway's gone. And one second, because my character's getting hungry. You wouldn't. Oh gosh. Okay. This is 1.9 the reset. Oh, where is she? There. And there we go. So Jamie came to save you. She has Harold getting the authorities right now. How did she find you when she saw you go down the... Um, go into the closet and go down into the stairwell. She hurried up and called the police. And you're like, that's another mystery, but... Someone tells you, show them the garden. So you're like, okay. So we're here with Queen Rido. And Jamie's in the garden looking around. Harold can't believe it. He's very grateful. And Harold takes Jamie out of the room because Jamie is just in complete shock. And Queen Rido says she has a gift for you. And now you have suddenly the ability to break blocks. So if you are able to, she should be able to now, yep, break this, she says a gift for you. Ghost Queen gift. It says the least you can do, and the Gateman wants to say goodbye to you, so let's go say goodbye to the Gateman. Here, we can put on the boots, now that we have them. They have Feather Falling, Frostwalker, Unbreaking, and Mending. It's been nice meeting you, and he saw somebody by your car earlier. What could possibly- whoops. What could possibly happen now? Ah. Chest by the car. <laughs> Through your eyes anyway. I'm just gonna read this. Well done, detective. You solved another case, but did you know there's a far greater mystery right under your nose? Looks can be deceiving. Learn who to trust. I will be watching your progress and will contact you with an explanation when the time is right. Signed, a friend. P.S. Toss this book in the bin next to the car. I rigged it to destroy this note. Wouldn't want it to fall into the wrong hands. So, let's toss it in here. And that is the end of Solve It Case 2, The Queen's Helm. So, I hope you enjoyed the map. I guess I am in the corner. I hope you enjoyed the map. Um, if you click here, you can go and see the command blocks for everything. Well, for at least for the castle. There's other command blocks around inside the castle and over at the main village. Um, I hope you enjoy the map. Any feedback you have is greatly appreciated. Um, keep a lookout for Solve It Case 3. It may take me a little bit longer to get that one going and get that one uploaded and built and everything because I have finals coming up soon. So I'll be kind of busy with school. But anyway, thank you. And I hope you enjoyed the map.